At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, and welcome back to this. It's episode 5 of my Two Point Hospital Let's Play series. So as I promised last time, we're going to jump straight into Flottering Hospital, learn about staff development and training. So here we go. Oh, already a little, few little beeps in the background. Staff development. To get the most out of your staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and had some training, they'll be ready for promotion. By promoting them, their skills increase and they are able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. How dare they? Firstly though, we'll need a training license. Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff welling, well-being here in Fluttering. So what we got to do? So for our training license, we've got to get it to level 4, hire 7 staff, and keep staff morale above 55%. Well, that's not particularly high, is it? Anyway, what we'll do, straight away, let's get reception in. Um, in here, like this. So it was a bit weird in the last hospital. They kind of, they set us up already, so... I didn't have to put down a reception, I didn't have to put down anything else. Is that a bit far back? You know what, that's a bit far back. Can't even put down a reception desk without screwing up. So what we'll do is we'll put in a GP's office over here. Just a small one. Yeah, just a small Maybe we'll make it... Well, the problem is there's this weird size here. So what we'll do is we'll actually... Maybe we'll make it 5 by 3 Because... Well, you can't fit anything in there anyway, except for... Oh no, I'm going to change that. 3 by 4 because then I can fit some benches in here, and that'll be good. Um, you know, windows really do add prestige, so it is worthwhile adding them. Um, so I'll put the desk in there. Um, we'll put it in like that. So we can fit some filing cabinets behind here. Oh, we still can't. Okay, what we'll do is we'll put put it back then. Or we'll put it, we'll put it this side. So there we go. We'll put it there, and then we'll put in some more filing cabinets. Lovely uh, weighing scales under the window, so you can look out the window and try not to think about your how overweight you, you might be. Um, there we go, or underweight I suppose, um, uh, it might be possible. So there we go, uh, bookcase, let's get a bookcase in here, right next to the window. Maybe we'll get two of them in there, and can I still then fit a plant in the corner? Yes, I can, lovely. Lightheadedness poster over here, um, eye test poster there. Maybe we'll fit food pyramid over on this side. Anything else I can get? Be nice to be able to buy some more of these things, you know, dog painting. Oh, I could get a clock. Let's get a clock and a chair. Um, is there anything else I can buy? Oh, a rug. Oh, let's get a rug. The rug looks. Oh, yes, that rug looks lovely. That was a good purchase. So, do I put it in that way round, do you think? Maybe I'll put it as a floor rug in the middle here. Um, and what I can do is then put, you know, a couple chairs in there. That's lovely. So there's a little seating area, you know, if you want a little bit more of an informal chat, if the doctor's got some bad news to give you, hopefully not. But, you know, then that's that's where you go. Um, and then a clock, because hopefully this keeps everyone on schedule and knowing what they're doing. So maybe we can fit one more thing in here. Uh, where's our yucca? Uh, you can't have a room without a yucca, can we? or two. Let's put a yucca in there. We get up to level four, lovely. So the hospital's well on its way. It's halfway through level one already. Ah, and I didn't even notice. I was too busy putting in that. I haven't even got an assistant to, to run the desk. So that's fine. I've got that sorted now. There we go. Um, well, let's see. What have you? You've got good mechanics, so you're going to help me upgrade stuff and you can fix things well, so that's good, so that's a good start. Um, pharmacy, general, let's, let's get general diagnosis in here. 
I spent too much time faffing around with rugs and all that malarkey over there, didn't I? I almost forgot I had a hospital to run. Um, so let's get a couple windows in, uh, just a few in this room, um, and let's quickly get some stuff in here so it doesn't run away with us again. Weighing scales, oh, under the window again. It's, it's, it's a nice place to put weighing scales. Big bin over here, um, maybe we'll put it in a corner so we can fit the hand sanitizer right by the door, um, and a fire extinguisher by the bin. Um, and I'll tell you what, let's not be, let's not be overly, um, let's not be changing anything. Put a few more plants in, um, and we'll throw in a couple lightheadedness posters as well. There we go, a lovely level three general diagnosis room. That's lovely. So maybe we need another doctor. What have you got? You can, good general practice, then you plot. So there you go, nurse. Well, you're an excellent nurse, even if you do cost twice as much as everyone else. Okay, you need a pharmacist. Let's slow this down a bit before we get out everything gets out of hand. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's getting a bit out of hand here. So what we need is we need a pharmacy. It's not going to fit in there, is it? Um, so we'll plot that down there and plot that in there. Um, yeah, we're, we're only going out by three on each side because of the width of this, uh, width of the, the hospital. But maybe I should put, uh, maybe I should put the door on the other side actually instead. So can I lift that one up? Put that there. There, there we go. Lovely. Um, I can get a drugs mixer. Um, and then I can get a lovely filing cabinet as well. Uh, there we go. Okay, better be a bit quicker on this one bin, hand sanitizer. It's always good to get them at least, you know, you don't want to keep them all at level one. Level two is like the minimum, um, really, that you should be aiming for. Um, nice lightheaded poster. I've got a few different posters now. Eye test poster, food pyramid, uh, clock. Maybe I can move that slightly. There we go. Let's get it right in the middle. There we go, lovely, and always nice to get a chair in there. Oh, we got up to level three, that was quite quick. Lovely, so a nurse, oh, you're good in a pharmacy, so in you go. I now need a ward, so where can I fit my ward? So I just... Maybe I'll put it over here somewhere, so I've got a bit more room. Maybe something like that, nice big one. Um, get out of the way. Okay, um... So, does it fit in the corner, this? Uh, how about flip it round, no. Like that? No, it doesn't fit in the corner, does it? Oh, it does if I put it like that. Okay, lovely. Um, let's get some beds in because they do take up a lot of room. So, we'll put one there. Um, we'll put them a bit closer than usual. Um, Put one there, maybe we can move it along a little bit. Lovely. Um, okay, we're gonna need a few more beds, I think. So what we'll do is we will... Where, where should we put the beds? So we'll put one more bed there, and one more bed there, lovely. And we need a changing screen. I know it's kind of right in the middle, but it's the only place that really, it really works in here, doesn't it? Um, I'm, I'm, but I'm kind, I do give them lockers, you know, uh, fit some lockers in, um, these guys have got loads of space beside their beds over here, um, could probably even fit something in the middle there, so there we go, lovely, um, well, we do need some filing cabinets, of course, where would we be without filing cabinets, um, it's quite good this, you can hold down control and then you can place things really accurately. I mean, not that you necessarily need them accurate, but it just, you know. Uh, what have we got? Fire extinguisher, can you fit in there? You can fit in there. Um, and then hand sanitizer, and then yeah, a couple plants down the middle here. Um, and a poster on the wall. There you go. You don't want it too boring, do you? I-headed poster, I, 
lightheadedness poster and an eye test poster. Okay, and a clock right above your bed so that can tick away above your head. Um, I know for a fact my wife would be very unhappy if she was in a bed which, which had that above her, so that's just for you. And there we go. Chair in there. Oh, we're almost at, almost at the higher prestige level. There we go, level four. So that's lovely. So we've got the ward. Um, you are good with treatment and diagnostics, but we'll just put you in there for now because we're pretty low. You died because, right, the treatment failed. Verbal diarrhea? Um, is that because I couldn't get treatment to you? Uh, probably, because I'm quite slow at getting this all done. Uh, so what have we got? So, cardiology. Um, so let's get some cardiology in here. Should I go with a three again? So uh, this is what I was thinking. I was wondering whether I put it here. Yeah, I wonder whether I actually put it in there. So I'll put it in there. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll put in some a door. It really, it like snaps quite a lot this game. Um, in, in relatively unhelpful ways, but you know. We'll get there. Um, exercise frame. There you go, an exercise frame. We need a heart rate, so that's the minimum requirement of this room, isn't it? You can hardly fit it in. Um, and then a couple of filing cabinets, uh, weighing scales. No, well, that won't fit in. That'll fit around here. Lovely, and a big bin. And you know what? Standard procedure, let's get a nice yucca plant somewhere in the middle there. Um, yeah, that, that, that's nice. That's, that's Well, that's nice enough. And we'll get an eye test poster on the wall. And a clock as well. Lovely. So, training license. Great news! The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all our hospitals. Build a training room. Allows you to run a training course. Okay. Lovely. So... What, what's my objectives? I haven't got any objectives. What do I do? Train a staff member. Okay. Um, I reckon I can fit a training room in there, but let's see how big they are. So, training room. Lovely, yes, I can fit that in nicely, actually. So, I've got the lectern and projector unit. That goes up the front. Um, is this the right way round? I can't really see. Oh yeah, like that. So I had it the right way around to start with. So let's get a load of chairs in here. Really shove them in. Um, there we go, that'll do for now. A um, couple of filing cabinets in the corner. And a big bin, of course. Where would we be without a big bin? Um, and you've got to keep your hands clean. You might... You know, you might touch all your papers in your class and then your hands get all dirty and you go back and treat someone. That's not a good idea at all. Um, and we're going to need a lot of, you know, material to help people learn. And everyone needs a clock, don't they? I mean, we've already got quite a few chairs in here, but let's put a spare chair just in case. Um, do we need anything else in here? You know what, that will do it. So we've got one thing going. To start a training course, click on the lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room. Staff will also request training when they're ready. In the training screen, select the qualification you want staff to learn. Okay, when picking a trainee, you can use your own staff, choosing one of their qualifications, or you can pay extra to bring in a guest trainer. So what I do, I click on the lectern. So, course is available. What have we got? Um... You know what, let's go with, I don't know, ward management, because no one's got it, and we've got two trainees who, who want that. So trainers available, I'll hire you, what's that, 10,000 plus 5,000 per trainee. You can learn and you can learn. Lovely, start training, off you go. So I presume I probably need some more nurses now. So you can go in there, and ironically you had ward training. Um, and we'll hire another... Um, assistant just in case 
So now let's get some speed going. So that's fine. I probably need some more room. So what have I got? So I've got the general diagnosis uh, here and I've got the cardiology and I've got a pharmacy and I've also got the GP's office already and I've got the ward. So I'm doing okay. So I just do need a psychiatry now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, yeah, that's probably a good size. And I'll probably make it a bit bigger this way as well. Um, no, you know what? I'll take that out. I'll make it bigger this way and smaller this way. Um, that that works. Um, one, one more that way? Yeah, I can do that, that actually. Um, I can't fit the door in there because it gets in the way of the door. So that's actually a bit annoying. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll put that in there. Put a little window in the corner. Um, lovely. Um, we'll put the speed slower again because I want to go and have a look at the guy's training. Um, so psychiatry couch. Uh, need a good bookcase. Have a bit of a read. Uh, big bin in the corner. Is that going to fit? It is. Um, fire extinguisher. You know, the standard fare in a hospital room. Um, you know, another bookcase because you've got some uh, psychiatry, uh, so you know, diagnosis bookcases. How about something, you know, not not just related to work, so you can have a read, you know, and a lovely. Oh, that's a nice rug. We'll get that in there, um, and we'll get a poster in, and we'll get an eye test. I'm not sure. No one seems to have issues with their eyes on this game, so I'm not sure what, really why we need an eye test poster, but um, you know. It's fair. It's it's something I suppose you would have in a in a in a hospital. Oh, a fireplace! I'd love to buy that, but I haven't got enough kudosh, unfortunately. Well, that's level four. We'll throw that in. Let's see. Anyone being trained yet? No. Oh, did one of you already get trained? Okay. Challenge: promote three staff. Time limit: 180 days. Okay. 25% um, happiness up and. Uh, Kudosh of 10. Okay, I need that. Um, wait a minute. I need a pans lab. Okay, pandemic. Uh, cure seven patients with pandemic. Um, yeah, okay. Um, monobrow discovered. Okay, so if you've got pandemic, what I need to do is I need to get a pan pans lab in straight away. And that's a 4x4, four four, isn't it? I forgot that. Well, that's rather annoying. Um... Well, I'll put you in there anyway, because I need you ASAP. Um, and I'll just throw in a few things in really quickly, um, just to make sure we've got, you know, you need, you may as well get some prestige in, in the place, because otherwise, you know, you're gonna be, you, basically, I just don't think the room works as well, and your hotel, your hospital's not as good quality, quality and you find it a lot harder to bring staff in. Um, maybe a chair over there. Lovely. Oh, no. No. Okay. Need to move you over one. There we go. Lovely. Close that off. So, is there any doctor who I can hire to run this place? So, you're good at bedside manner, uh, psychiatry, general practice. Well, you'll just do for now because I need someone to... Oh, is it a nurse that runs it? No. There's a doctor already on his way, is there? Okay, Dr. Bertie Doolittle. It's you, is it? Okay. Lovely. Wow, I'm not going to do well. What's that? Oh, shoot it. There we go. What was it? Lowbrow. Okay. Someone's cleaning it up. That's good. Oh, no, I haven't got any benches. Okay, let's get some benches. Um, okay, bench, bench, bench. Sorry, guys. Um, you must all be so bored as well because you haven't got anything in here. You haven't got a leaflet stand. Um, that'll do it. Um, we'll put in... Uh, you know what? We'll put this in here. Uh, put plants there and there. That keeps it nice and pretty. I've got so many plants in the rooms that actually that keeps it quite, uh, quite pleasant. Um, and we'll get... What we'll get? We'll get more... Benches, because benches are always useful. 
Um, so there we go. Twizzle, twizzle, twizzle. And there we go. Um, and all along here we can probably get a couple of benches as well. Maybe, maybe a couple snacks machines or something. Uh, lovely. Um, yeah, we'll get one more bench in there. Uh, drinks machine in the middle there. Okay, lovely. That suits us nicely. Um, and right on the end, what we can probably fit is we can probably fit another leaflet stand. That just keeps people happy enough. Um, and what did I put in there? I put in a drinks machine. So we probably need a snacks machine. Um, and a salty snacks machine might not be a bad idea as well. I think that's a higher, higher quality or higher level machine, so people are a lot happier with it. Uh, spin it round over here. Uh, snacks machine there. Um, and yeah, there we go. Lovely. So what have I got to do? I've got to train another three staff. Okay, well, what's this here? Impress the VIP. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not going to cure all my people because I've only cured three and I've got hardly any of the time left. Um, so, trainees for stamina training. Let's train a load of people in stamina. Um, I've got quite a few nurses, so I can use you, actually. Um, you know what? You're good. Uh, you're an assistant as well. You're a doctor as well. Oh, you've got loads of spaces. There we go. Start training. Train everyone. There we go, get to get some speed. So I've got a pans lab. I'm not really sure whether that's gone any well, gone well at all. Um, let's get a bench in here. There we go, lovely. Um, let's get a bin in because we don't want people to be causing any mess. Um, they were really dying for some of those machines, so they seem quite happy about that. We'll get another drinks machine in here. And a lovely plan at the end. Let's, should we get a yucca? Let's get a yucca. Or is it a yucca? Maybe everyone's shouting at me saying, oh, it's a yucca plant. Well, sorry. Um, and I could get a purple bench and I could get a magazine rack. Oh, a magazine rack might not be a bad idea. What's probably more going to be more useful is getting a whole news agent, but I'm not really sure where I plop that. Maybe I can fit it in here, actually. Yeah, you know what, that works, doesn't it? So I can fit that in there. That's that's nice, so that's good. Oh, you're a, you're a monobrow. Oh, that last one moved a lot. Uh, yeah, there we go, moved a lot slower than that. Um, okay, and what else do I get? So what was, what's this here? So we, we've cured enough well done, we cured enough of the patient group. This has helped our reputation have been sent to reward. Yeah, four out of seven, that didn't go too well. Uh, just wait a minute, clown clinic. Oh, I've not heard about that before. Uh, oh, they told me about the clown clinic. Okay, good, so let's get an assistant to run this. You're very clever. So that's good, so training courses are complete. So I've trained enough staff. Now, how do I promote them now? Do I go into, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get that. Let's get that room first. Is it three by three? Tell me it is. No, it's not. Of course, it's not. So I've got now that annoying space down there, which is going to cause issues for everyone. Um, so that's good. So I've got a four by four. Maybe I can fit. I don't know a ward down there. Is that something that can go in? Oh, look at that. That's hilarious. Look at that. It's a circus. It's a big top. Dehumorifier. Yeah, got to get rid of the humour. No laughing around here, please. Uh, get a big bin in. Yeah, get a hand sanitizer. Uh, yeah, so let's get a couple plants. You yeah, know, just two yuccas in the corner which should do the trick. Um, and then a clock, maybe, just so you can remember what's going on. Um, and a lovely chair. A couple chairs to keep you going. So that's level three, that's lovely. So what have we got here? So we've got Chief Nurse Challenge, get a level four cardiology. Oh, wow. Okay, so there we go. So how do I now zoom in and kill that beast, whatever it is? What is it? It's like a little snail thing or slug thing, but it moves extremely fast. Okay, so. 
What do I need to do? I need to promote three staff. Oh, that's two challenges. Where are we? Staff, staff. Okay, let's turn down the speed. How do I turn it down? Who do I need to promote? Uh, you're not very happy. How do I promote you? Pick up? No. Take a break? Fire? No. Pay review? Pay review? Um, how do I promote people? So, if I... How about if I do that? that make you happier? That'll make you happy, won't it? Okay, and you, you can have a bit more. Have a bit more, you know, have a load. Make yourself green. Have a load. Make yourself green as well. So people are generally okay about their money. Um, you know, they're not that unhappy. But let's get them up a little bit higher as much as possible. Um, but I still can't see how to remote anyone. So I train these people. Oh, there we go. Promote you. I've probably just given you a, a d additional salary, haven't I? Promote. There we go. Okay. So, how do I promote someone? Do I need to train another person? Um, so, who do I train? Maintenance. Yeah, you. There we go. Sebastian Tumbleweed. And you know what? I probably need another janitor or two. So, let's get you in there. Um, and let's get you. You've got good ghosts. Okay. Yeah, it's filthy around here. It's very busy actually in my hospital. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. That That's 15 people. 16 people in the queue. 17 people in the queue. Right. I think I might need another GP's office. So um, for now, let's just throw a GP's office in there. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, but yeah, that should... Yeah, that should really not have happened, so that was a bit stupid. I'm not very good at this game, am I, guys? Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, okay, chuck. Chuck a couple rugs in, because it's always nice to have a bit of nice light uh, floor coverings. Um, I'll put a couple bookcases in there. Like that. Break up the room a little bit. That's nice. Um, lovely. Um, and a couple plants in the corner. And a few posters as well. You can't have too many posters in my eyes. Um, there we go. Look at that. It's a level four room already. Um, we haven't got a chair in. We haven't got a clock in. So let's get a chair in the corner there. Um, Let's get a couple plants over here. This is like the chill out zone. You know, when our doctor's had a bit of a hard day, he can come down here and he can have a look at what's going on. Um, he can have a sweet dispenser as well. Look at this, this is the greatest GP's office. Um, I don't know whether making the prestige level higher makes them faster though. That's, that's the piece I've never quite, I still haven't quite worked out. So let's get some more windows in. Okay, come on, I can get it to level 5, can't I? Okay, that's lovely. Oh, and I haven't got any of these filing cabinets. Okay, how are you going to keep all your files if you haven't got any filing cabinets? Um, and a big bin in the corner. And a fire extinguisher as well. And a hand sanitizer. Come on, does that take us over the line? Not quite. Let's have another plant or two by the door then. Oh no, that's not gone well. So you can't go there because you screw up the rest of the layout. We'll have a plant in the middle here. It's nice to have a plant in, a plant in the middle. There we go. Level 5 GP's office. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit because um, I haven't got anyone to promote. Okay. Two Point County Healthcare Award Ceremony. What have I got? Doctor of the Year. Oh, I didn't get no deaths. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Nurse of the Year, Best Teaching Hospital, Rising Star, Employer of the Year, and Most Prestigious. So I haven't got the Patient's Choice, and I haven't got the No Deaths. Well, that's not the end of the world, I suppose. So how's things going now? So let me see. I think I need some more doctors. So what are you good with? Psychiatry, treatment, stamina, GP, diagnostic, Let's go with you. Um, I just need one of them. I probably need a staff room. They're probably a bit unhappy with me because of the lack of staff room. So 
So what we'll do is we'll get that. Um, and to be honest, I was really hoping I'd get my one star hospital. And then we could leave it there for today. But it's just not coming along. We're just not training these people fast enough. Let's get fast speed on. Um, I presume that's what I need to do. I need to train them. Um, what are we doing? So let's see. So we've got our queues down. We've now only got 10 people in the queue there and 8 people in the queue here. Anywhere in the hospital will not be All toilet. people are urinating in the hospital and that's because I haven't got any toilets. Um, okay. So just a small toilet, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll throw in... You don't need a huge bathroom, I suppose. Two toilets in there. Sink in there, hand dryer next to it, um, and a big bin in the corner, um, and that should make everyone relatively happy. There's going to be a huge queue outside the toilets at this rate. Um, okay, there's eight people, nine people in that queue, nine people in that queue. Uh, ooh, staff promotion, lovely. So there we go, we'll make him happy, we'll promote him, and amazing! Dear Hospital Administrator, One Star Hospital, Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. You're getting rather good at this, I see, and showing signs of an ability to develop staff from within. How terribly promising, which is to say, how terrible. Stay there to nurture this fledgling talent or abandon it altogether and move on to pastures new in our chilly northern region. So, ah, a bit different this time. So before it was a bit, you know, restricted. You could only go to one different hospital, but they've opened up Mitten University, Tumble, Clown Poster, and then this is the reception I think I was talking about, where instead of just the desk, you have like a whole reception area, you can put different units on it, and a coffee machine, and all that stuff. I don't know what difference it makes, but nice to see that they've done that. Bit of a bonus in cash, and some kudosh bonus as well. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it there for today. We're gonna we're gonna follow, uh, carry on with this hospital next time. Gonna try and get our two stars. I don't want to leave them just at one star. It's a bit low. We'll try and get up to two stars. We've just got to promote and train a few more staff, I think, and build up the hospital a bit more. Um, and we'll do that next time. So thank you very very much for watching, and I will see you next time.